JC here. Well, time for morning coffee. But notice I have my CSI mug. Uh, arg, arg, arg. You wake up, and this is when I check email. When I get up in the morning, I check email. Do everything I need to do on the computer because we're 12 hours difference than Eastern Standard Time in the United States. A lot of my members are from the United States. So, you know, they're just going to bed. They've had a day that they've been up. So any kind of issues or comments or forum postings and questions, everything, I deal with in the morning when I wake up over my cup of coffee. Not this morning. See that little white box behind me? Fiber optic modem. Guess what? It has the dreaded red light of death. What does that mean? The red light on a fiber optic modem means loss of signal. No signal. Last time this happened was during a holiday. It took me four days to get it fixed because there was no technicians. They were all on holiday. And when I finally got a technician out here, you know what they said happened? A rat ate through my fiber optic cable outside. So we're gonna go outside. I didn't see where he ate it last time, but we're gonna go peruse around the trash pile, see if we can find a cable that's eaten through. But we've called TOT, which is a company I have. It's, uh, right now it's 10 o'clock in the morning. We've called TOT and inform them of the problem and we'll see how long it takes to get it fixed. But let's go see if we can find some uh, guilty looking rat. Okay, well we're headed to the trash pile and uh, we'll see if we can track down some wires that look like they were delicious. There's no telling. Amazing that they were here last time was able to figure this out. Look at this bird's nest of wires here. Amazing. And this is common in Thailand. And I'm not sure when, uh, when something stops being used, whether or not they eliminate the wire or just leave it there as a dead cable. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can find one that actually looks like it's been chewed on. I found this piece of wire on the ground, and if I'm not mistaken, I think this is fiber optic cable. I'm not 100% sure, though. And this could be where they, they left this as a remnant when they came by to fix it last time. So what I'm going to do maybe is try and track down more of this up there and see if I can find one that's cut. But there's a lot of wires up there. I'm not sure if this is going to happen or not. Anyway, they should be out. When they come out this time, I'm actually going to come out with them, hopefully, and they can show me so I can check it next time and see if that's the case when I lose my uh, signal. But anyway, we're waiting for TOT. If I find something, I can't fix it anyway, so there you go. I'm not sure if you can see this, but the shielding, the outside encasing of that wire is deteriorated, and the bare wire is just hanging there. Okay, so it's 12.30, and when we call, every time we call TOT and we have problems like this, they tell us the same thing. We'll, we'll get back in contact with you, and we never hear back from these people. Anyway, it's 12.30, we're gonna give them a call again because we still have the dreaded red light of death on our, uh, on our fiber optic modem. We haven't heard back from any technician or anything. So we give them a call again. So we just keep um, keeping a little fire under their butt. But uh, 1230, we'll see how long it takes before uh, we get this thing fixed. See ya. Okay. Well, 
คือตอนนี้มีช่างมาเช็คใช่ไหมคะโอเค what did they say เช็คเอาทรายมาแล้วไหมมาดูแล้วอันนี้มี problem ไหมนี่ยังไม่รู้คนเช็ค oh it's check so we don't know if there's a problem yet or not เมโรโอเค alright but he's checking oh cool ผู้ชายจะโทรกลับมาพูดนี่จะมา inside oh he wants to know if he can come inside not sure นี่จะ call first So if you're wondering what the translation of that was, is the man has already been here or knows already, I'm not sure if he's already been here, but he knows already the problem is outside. So I'm not sure what is going to happen at this point, but they said if he needs to come inside, can he come inside? Or they'll call first and let us know he needs to come inside. But it's great because we know they're on the case, they're working on it. So. That's a two thumbs up, but I can't hold two thumbs up because I got one thumb holding the camera. <laughs> All right, so they're working on it. We're going to have internet today, hopefully. We'll see. Well, it is quarter to two, and we got a call from the technician. He hasn't been here yet. I don't know how they determined that the problem was outside of our building or outside of our room, but anyway, He got. He called us and we needed directions to get here, so he's on his way. Quarter to two. Hopefully, we'll have this resolved in a couple hours. And I'm not sure where he was coming from. Do you know where he's coming from? No. Anyway, he's on his way. So uh, hopefully, we'll get this fixed soon. Then I'll be able to do some work. So last time that we did this, and this happened, and the rat chewed the the cable. Outside, they came in, and what they do is they have some kind of device that pulses a signal, and so they'll hook it up to our fiber optic here at the box, and they'll be pulsing the signal. Then they'll go outside to the pole and find the wire that has the pulse. What happened last time is there was no wire that had the pulse because the rat had eaten the wire. So, because of that, um, they had to trace it down. And so it's a lot more work, and we'll see if they do the same thing if they put the box on here to uh, send that pulse signal all the way out. So there you go. So any cup? Put cup on and in. Can I come and eat new again? หนูชอบกินไฟเบอร์ใช่ไหมไฟเบอร์อร่อยฮะหนูชอบเล่นอินเทอร์เน็ต Well, as you can see, they're trying to trace down the the problem here. I don't see a sated rat yet, but I'm looking. I always get a kick how um, they'll lay the the ladder right on the wires. In fact, in some instances, workers will go out and walk on wires. <laughs> You wonder why things don't work, huh? Hey, found where the rat ate it. Ah, I need it all. Ah, here it is. Where the rat ate through it. Wow. I think this is the splicer. Splice these two pieces back together again. So they cut out a section. This could be the section where they pieced it last time. Yeah. 
so what we're looking at here is the patch they did before that they cut out so it wasn't far from where it happened last time to where these new rats or same rats ate it again okay so we got the thumbs up the internet has been repaired it has been finished they called the, I guess the head office in Bangkok to check the signal. The signals, they're getting a signal. They'll have to go back up and take their little box that's pulsing that signal out of there. But hey, what time is it? It is 2.30, so I got them out here and to repair the internet by 2.30. TOT, two thumbs up to you. Great job. So there you go. Hope it's been helpful to show how you're going to have to deal with things like this when you're living over here in Thailand. So uh, I've had True, True Internet. They were a great company. I had Cat with fiber optic. It was pretty stable. It wasn't so bad. I'd lose it sometimes. TOT I've had now for about six months or so. And the rat's eaten the wire twice. So maybe it's because it's so close to the trash over here that uh, maybe as they climb the wires with the trash, they drop something on there and then the rats eat it. I don't know. Maybe just the rats like to play games and they need the internet connection. I'm not sure. But anyway, got internet again. Hope it's been helpful. Okay, JC here. Let's see, it is um, eight days, Matt? Eight days? Eight pad one, am I? It's been eight days since I told you all that I had the red light of death on my modem on my fiber optic modem the LOS light if for you all that don't know LOS means loss of service eight days from the last time I showed you that this was out we're out again wake up in the morning the rats must have had a buffet on the fiber optic line again we called TOT at about 10 o'clock in the morning to report it, we'll see how long it takes for them to get here. You know, they say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing again and again and expecting a different result. This is the third, this will be the third time they've come out to fix this. It'll be interesting to see how many times they actually come back and just fix the wire, splice the wire, before they start thinking, well, maybe we should put some kind of sheathing or something over this thing to keep the, the rats from eating it. But anyway, I'm assuming because I don't know yet. I'm assuming that that's what the problem is because what else could it be, right? Loss of service. We've had internet go down before, but it's internet problems, not loss of service. That means there's a cut in the line somewhere. So I got my CSI mug out again. So I'm doing some CSI work. I'll go outside and uh, see if I can spot. It's pretty high up, but I'm gonna see if I can spot where the little critter nod through it again. So anyway, Another day in paradise. See ya. So we'll go out and look again and see if we can figure out where this is happening. But I can't go outside because the gate is locked down here. So I have to look from inside. But when TOT comes, we'll have them unlock the gate so we can go outside and check out where these little hungry critters are, are munching down. So what do you cut? สวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับนั่งนั่งนั่งดวนคุณกลับมาสามครั้งเพราะว่าอันนี้นุ่มนุ่มกินนุ่มกินสายหนูกับสามสามครั้งแล้วที่นั่
where the, where the problem is, I think. We'll see if it's the same place, but we'll check it out. There's one of the patches from before where they spliced splice this together. Okay, so they're thinking this time. They're actually th thinking this cable, this fiber optic cable actually ran separately, which means, of course, it was just on its own plate for the, for the rats. So what this guy's gonna do, it's very smart, I think, to try and solve this, is he's gonna bundle it with these other, some of these other cables here. And if he can bundle it inside, it gives the, the rat less opportunity to chew on it. So I think this is a great idea. This guy's thinking. So he's bundling it up with other wires. And we'll see if that solves the problem. But man, they get out here quick, didn't they? This is really great. So, uh, and they're actually thinking of how to keep this from happening again. Very good, huh? Dima? Yeah. So one of the problems is that these all these cables and everything run real close to where we dump trash. So I think there's a lot of rats at night. And they like to sharpen their teeth on these cables. always amazes me all these people can figure out when they get to on site which cable is their cable look at this he's working in a bird's nest literally huh? I love watching how these guys splice with fiber optic it's pretty amazing really they have a little machine that binds it all back together again. So it appears this guy is running a whole new wire all the way along here to the pole, to this pole here. And hopefully, I think what he was saying was he's going to bind it together with some of these other cables that are running along here as well. So. Guy's thinking, good idea. I think in Thai you say Quam Kit D. Good idea. You know, there's a lot of things in Thailand that amaze me. And one of the things that amazes me the most is how workers use the cables to sit on or walk out on. I've actually seen workers go out and walk along these not here but in other places and we wonder why we have challenges <laughs> all right so they're finished up what they didn't do which I thought they would would actually use like electrical tape or something like that to bind the wire to the cable to other cables or whatever but they didn't do that they sort of just laid it in between some of the other ones so we'll see if that works it's actually a step in the right direction hopefully it'll work I won't have any more issues but hey it's uh, one o'clock in the afternoon I got internet again Yahoo! cup coon cup thank you That's what I like to see right there. Alrighty then. Back in business. Hey JC here. If you like that video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel here. Also, we have another video up here you're going to be really interested in watching as well. And if you're looking for all the details of how to retire in Thailand in one place, plus a group of people to support you, check this out over here. Give it a click.